Good morning, gang. Today is Monday, September 21st. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic weekend. I hope you're able to get outside, rest, relax, and soak up that sun. It should be another glorious week, so hopefully we can get outside and enjoy that a little bit, too. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if there's anything that you need from me, if there's anything that I can do, please let me know, and I'd be happy to help as best as I can. Remember, when you're all done with your work for today, on the agenda post, click Mark as Done. Speaking as Mark as Done, there is something you need to turn in for me today. You're going to go all the way down to assignment number two in the assignment Dropbox, and that is your Five Themes children's book. You should have been working on that throughout last week. Hopefully, you're able to get it all finished up, and today we actually turn those in. And so in order to do that, remember, the directions are on there, but basically, instead of like taking a picture of the book and uploading a bunch of picture files, you're going to use... Um, if you're on iOS, you're going to use your Notes app, the standard Apple Notes app. And if you're on Android, you're going to use the Google Drive app. But either way, you are going to make a PDF scan of that book. You are then going to upload that PDF scan into your Google Drive where it will live forever. And then in Google Classroom, on assignment number two, you're going to click the Add or Create button. And you're going to go in and find that PDF that you had just uploaded. And you are going to attach that to assignment number two. You should have also already turned in assignment number one. That was your five themes. That was your notes page where you kind of, it looks a little bit like this. Here's kind of one that I just got hanging out there. Um, but your five themes notes page, that was assignment number one. That was doing on Friday. If you haven't got that in yet, please do. If you did, I got them graded over the weekend and returned to you and the grades are updated for you in school view. So you can check that out in student view. And then assignment number two, your five themes children's book that is due today. Please um, check the links there for the directions on how to do that. And if you're still stuck, let me know. On to today. What do we got? Today is going to be, well, I don't want to like oversell what we got going for today. Today is going to be life changing. Yeah, that's right. Life changing. I've got a little presentation we're going to go through. It's a little bit on the longish side, but hey, if it's life changing, it might need to be a little bit on the longish side. But we're going to talk today about the importance of maps. And you're going, wait a second, the importance of what now? Yeah, maps, M-A-P-S, the importance of maps and how knowing how to read a map very well could save your life. If you're going, how could a knowing how to read a map possibly save my life? Well, you'll have to check the video because that's what you're going to do today. Um, I've got a set of slides available uh, for you to kind of click through at your own leisure, but then I've also got uh, myself going through those slides. The first chunk of the slides is me explaining why it's important to know about maps and a little something called totals and what the importance of totals is on a map. After you've gone through that, you're going to take seven minutes and you are going to create your own mental map of the world. All of the directions are laid out there for you. Um, that'll take about 30 minutes, the slides, the notes and creating your own map. That'll take about 30 minutes, maybe a skosh longer. And then once you're all done with that uh, and you've created your mental map, please bring it with you to class or snap a picture of it or even better, a PDF of it and then send that to me. Email that to me if you're not gonna be able to come in this week. So that's gonna be the chunk of what you're gonna do today. And then you have all been given or you should have this. It says unit one tools of geography daily checks. All right, and today we're gonna be focusing in on targets one and two. Learning target number one, that is from last week and it reads, explain the five themes of geography. In the space below, list each of the five themes including their sub-themes. What's a sub-theme you might ask? Well, for example, for location, there is absolute location and relative locations. You'd write location, absolute and relative, and then explain. So location tells you where something is. So you're going to list out the five themes and their sub-themes. That's for target one. And then target two, identify the main features of the map totals. That builds off of today. But point is, these first two targets here on your daily checks page, those should be done by the end of your day today. We're not collecting them. We're not turning them in. You don't need to scan and take a picture of it just yet. We will be eventually turning those in, but they're daily checks, so they should be completed. You got it daily. Yeah, so that's really what you've got going for today. You're going to turn in assignment to your children's book. We're going to learn about the importance of maps and how they will let you live a long, fruitful life. Then we're going to be working on creating our mental maps. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. You see what I did there? Well, if you check the little emoji in the post, you'll see it. We're going to wrap it up with learning targets daily one and two on the daily checks page. Um, you should have that. You shouldn't need to print it. There is an extra copy available. And then when you're all done with that, you're going to click that mark as done button. You're not actually turning anything in on the agenda post. The only thing you're turning in today is 
your children's book. So that's really all I've got for today. As always, um, please let me know if there's anything I can do. Please let me know if there's any questions that you have. I hope you're doing well. Remember, be bold, be kind, and make good choices. See ya!